what is the total energy gained by earth from sun in form of radiation answer surprising but whatever sun is emitting out energy that is in form of radiation out of that 1 by 2000 millionth part is received by earth this energy is called as insolation why every year different type of seasons are observed that means in some winter winter season is not going to get uh, fall in temperature as per the expectation sometime summer is very hot sometime summer is not that hot in case of a uh, monsoon climate sometime rainfall is very good sometime it is above average and sometime it is much more below the average so why this season uh, they are not same every year we are going to find his answers in the following series of shots so one point we are going to discuss in one shot so henceforth we are starting the series that is uh, related with climatic condition the first answer that is change in insolation you are aware that sun's spot cycle is there that is approximately of 11.3 years but there are secondary cycles also they are of the period that is of 35 years 80 years like that even that 11.3 year cycle that is also not perfect it varies from uh, about 9 years to 16 years by looking at this you can consider that whatever the insulation insulation means what energy received by earth from sun that is not constant it is changing out continuously and as a result if input of energy is less then obvious thing is that temperature is going to change and this way all season cycle second reason that is actually the angle of rotation of earth we are aware that to the denite line there is angle of 23 and half uh, with that earth rotates around this axis but uh, geographical data says or according to the scientists the angle is changing out continuously the data is that 22.1 degree to 24.5 degree that means 22.1 degree to 22 uh, 24.5 degree so this way it is actually it should be but it is going to change little bit and again coming back so like that uh, obvious the impact is there on the season cycle because of this type of change in the angle of rotation this change in angle of rotation is not taking place immediately it takes nearly 41000 years so uh, we should not consider that this is the angle and again change like this so this way in year or two year no it take nearly 41000 years but uh, because of that impact is there on season cycle and everything and so uh, this is one of the reason that why changes in the climate they are observed year after year you are aware earth's orbit around sun is not circular one it is elliptical one as suggested by kepler but the eccentricity of this orbit is changing out over the period a period of 96000 years but uh, it also having impact on weather so uh, this is particularly happening because of certain planets a uh, giant planet like jupiter saturn they are pulling out earth towards themselves you are aware even jupiter is able to pull sun little bit towards itself and that's why jupiter and sun both revolve around bari center so that is having impact on earth's eccentricity also and as a result climate is change because of eccentricity or this uh, uh, orbital that is elliptical orbital 
Sometimes earth is very close to sun and sometimes earth is away from sun. When earth is close to sun, that is called as perihelion position. Whereas when earth is away from sun, it is called as aphelion position. Right now, perihelion position is there around January, 4th Jan. And aphelion position is around 4th July. So, in northern hemisphere, in winter season, earth is going close to sun. And in summer season, earth is going away from sun. This is the actual change. But because of this change in eccentricity, and orbit is also going to change continuously over a period of, uh, as we discussed, 10,500 years. Orbit is going to change. Uh, that around 10,500 years, uh, the thing is that the perihelion and aphelion dates were exactly reversed. That means in summer season, in northern hemisphere, it was perihelion. And in winter season in northern hemisphere, it was aphelion. As a result, winters were more strong at that time. And same way, summer were warmer than what existing summer. But this cycle is of 10,500 years. So like that, various things are uh, there. Uh, apart from that, other factors are also there. That's why we are having continuous change in the temperature or climatic conditions are different. Earth is rotating around its axis. We are saying it takes nearly 23 hours, 56 minutes and few seconds. That few seconds are not constant. They are continuously changing. Sometimes we are getting uh, added one second in total year's time. But uh, over the period, it is observed that Earth is slowing down. Sometimes because of volcanic activity, speed may again increase. And that change in the speed also result in change in climatic condition. There are many hypotheses I am not considering all. But uh, important hypothesis uh, we are discussing. Out of that, one important hypothesis is composition of atmosphere. Or rather, we can consider that uh, volcano, volcanic activity, particularly when uh, huge volcanic blasts are there and constantly smoke is uh, erupted in atmosphere. At that time, obvious thing is that smoke that is reflecting out radiation, solar radiation outside only. That is change in albedo. Albedo means uh, light reflected by earth. So changes in albedo. As a result, insulation may change. Uh, and then we are having different climatic conditions. Records are there that because of a massive volcanic eruption and uh, accumulation of this dust in atmosphere, uh, many times summer seasons were not observed. In today's contest, we may suggest that anywhere in remote area where no uh, actually life system is there, their volcanic blast should be there. But uh, that is altering out condition. The situation is not coming to normal situation immediately. So this type of incidents happened in past. Uh, that uh, in 1816, this was considered important incident. So like that, uh, the things observed. And because of this uh, volcanic eruption also, climatic changes are observed.